Okay, what we're going to learn how to do today is we're going to buy a domain name, forward and mask the domain name. So we are at directconnectdomains.com. That's D I R E C T C O N N E C T D O M A I N S.com. And first thing we're going to do is create an account. Okay, we're going to go through the steps here, choosing a password, confirming that password. I'm going to make sure to write this down as well, so you have it for your records, or either save it on the computer. Okay, and this is where you can choose for promotional uh, emails and things of that nature, uh, extra uh, you know items that might be uh, on promotion for the month. So I'm just going to choose no for this right now. You can go back and change that in your account if you want. Okay, login name is already used. I'll try a different one. I have to re-enter the password. Okay, that went through. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and search for the domain name that we're looking for uh, that's going to be relevant and search engine friendly uh, to purchase. For example, I'm going to look up AZ search engine advertising .com. Okay, and that's available. So I'm going to get that. And just scroll right through here and just keep it at the one year. You can do more years if you like. You can actually get a discount. Uh, you can certify. You can choose from economy, deluxe, things of that nature. But I'm just going to go ahead and choose for one year and just put that I'm ready to check out so I can bypass all this. Press continue. Now you can add a private registration right here by clicking on that if you like. This way it's not visible on the internet. For your safety, we have it for one year. That's what we want. So let's update it. So now it's 1017. Now we can put the private registration in there. Oh, it's forcing it for five years, so. We will just do the one year without the registration as private. Go through the process here, accepting the terms and agreement. You can choose credit card or if you have a PayPal account, you can choose PayPal. I'm going to go to continue to check out. See all of my information in here. I put my credit card, name on the card, card type. You can choose these methods to remember your information next time if you want to purchase additional items within your account. And then you're going to press, uh, uh, press place your